The question 5 is solving systems of equations using inverses of matrices. But this question is more like, you know, problems, word problems. You need to read and understand what they want. And it's a reasoning type of problems. Let's read this. Asma and Amna are setting up matrix, matrix equations for the system of 5x plus 7y equals 19 and 3y plus 4x equals 10. Either of them is correct. Explain your reasoning. First, let's just solve it up, okay? Let's set it out like this. Equation 5x plus 7y equals 19. Then we need to write x first. Always the x variables are first and then the y variables equals 10. Now let's write them in matrix form. It'll be 5, 4, 7, 3 and x and y. And what are they equal to? 19 and 10. Now, who has written it like, see, this is wrong. Why? She has written three first and then four. This is wrong. Amna must be correct then. Yes, this is correct. That's it. Why? Because the variable X and Y has been swapped with the, uh, by Asma. Because she put three X, three for X in the second equation in stock four. That's the answer. Describe what matrix equation with infinite solutions look like. You need to write a matrix equation for infinite solutions. First, write two equations which have infinite solution. That means they are the same equation, right? Imagine you have 2x plus 3y equals 7. This must be the same equation because if the same equations, that means they are overlapping and it's infinite. You can write 2x plus 3y equals 7 or what you can do is multiple of this. 4x plus 6y equals 14. Now they are all multiplied by 2. But still, if you graph them, um, now if you graph them, it will be negative slope. It will be same, you know. So that's the thing. These two are an example. Now if you want to write it in matrix form, 2, 3, 4, 6 over here, x, y, 7, 14. You will have infinite solutions over here. So the system would have to consist two equations that are same or one equation that's multiple of other. Say this is multiple, two times multiple. So that's the answer. Determine whether the following statement is always, sometimes or never true. Explain your reasoning. A squared matrix has a multiplicative inverse. Yes, it has and it doesn't have also, right? Now what is uh, inverse matrix? So if you know the formula, it's a one by determinant of matrix A, okay? Then the formula over here, it'll be B, A, B, C, D, it'll be D over here, uh, sine minus, sine mi minus over here, and A, this is the formula. Now this is the determinant A. Now if this is Z, uh, if determinant is zero, then inverse doesn't exist, right? So what happens is, you can't tell it's always or never. This is wrong, wrong. It's sometimes. So that's the thing. Why? Because if at all you get a determinant of a matrix to be equal to zero, then you do not have a multiplicative inverse. Inverse exists only when the determinant is not equal to zero. So answer is sometimes. A square matrix has a multiplicative inverse if its determinant does not equal to zero. So if it is equal to zero, it doesn't have a matrix. That's all. Write a matrix equation that does not have a solution. Now, this is same slope, same variables, but you should have a different intercept. Say, for example, parallel lines like this. Same slope and everything, but your intercept is different. So, I'll write an equation 3, 2x plus 4y equals 5. Same thing, 2x plus 4y is equal to 7. Now, you can see x and y variables are same it's just the slope i mean the intercept that varies so they are parallel lines basically so such lines will never have a solution it's no solution now over here we can analyze this as well sample answer let's write them 2x plus 3y equals 9 and we have 4x plus 6y equals 10 now this can be removed out by 2 or you can multiply this by 2 it's easier It'll be 4x plus 6y is equal to 18. Can you see this? First term, second term is same. Only this is different. So they are parallel lines. And um, any mat matrix that has determinant equal to 0, such as over here. Why? Because then it does not exist, right? Inverse. 
then when would you prefer to solve a system of equation using algebraic methods and when would you prefer to use matrices to be very honest all the time just use algebraic method because you're a scientific calculator but in reality right uh, algebraic calculations of three equations say now yeah x plus 2y is equal to uh, z something like this is equal to 3 and then x plus 2z is equal to 5 and x plus 5y now i just wrote three dimension but if you have more bigger ones right say four dimension uh, a b c d four variables then it's very hard to do it you know algebraically because it's very hard to find which is which you know it takes a long time you know you need to write this in terms of see this and this can be written in terms of one variable x and then substitute over here long time but since you have scientific calculator it's very simple but otherwise if it's very difficult problem you use matrices it'll be easier to analyze you know you can write the coefficient matrix variables the answers and then easily solve it up whereas if it's simple problems you can go with algebraic method some systems with two variables yeah two variables are very simple why because now imagine you have 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 and uh, 5x minus 6y is equal to 7. This is very easy to solve, you know, you just have to multiply, you know, two variables are simple to solve. Whereas 3 by 3 and all, it gets complicated. Matrices is easy to solve in that. And that's the end of this topic. So it was just reasoning and understanding questions. I'm not exactly sure how will they ask you for your exam, but just go through all the problems and reason them and understand them. So you might have, say, problems like this, and you might have uh, two uh, four different equations which do not have a solution whichever are parallel lines so such answers might be asked so please do understand the reasoning behind these problems